Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial video. Now, in this video, we are going to be going over the exact ways how to go and connect these new panels here in Stormworks. We'll go over the Mac controllers, we'll go over the panels themselves, everything you need to configure and do uh, pretty much a step-by-step -step tutorial here, guys. And we'll show you different examples as we move through. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and anyone else you'd like to see in my future videos. Why there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of our upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So it all said, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started started with the first example. So we're back here in the workbench. Now in front of me, I've gone and actually set up four different examples of how we're actually going to be doing this, just so you guys can obviously cover all the basics. Now, first off on my left, we just have a normal panel uh, with four different dials on it. The next one over is going to be another panel. Along with that, it has four buttons. We then move on to another panel, which has two dials and two buttons. And then on the next side we have for the last example is going to be two panels with buttons and dials on it. Now, starting off with the first one, the first one, obviously, once you've gone and you've placed down your different um, actual component blocks, you can then decide what you want, whether it be dials, indicators, gauges, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also configure them as we usually do with dials and change what you want. Once you've gone ahead and placed it down, you've obviously decided what you want, for example, fuel, electricity, whatever it is you want to actually display. It's then time to go into your microcontroller. Now, I've already gone ahead and placed one down, it's completely blank. As you can see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it. Once we've gone into the screen and you can see I have nothing on it. Now, because we only want to send something to our gauge, uh, the only thing we need to do is go and go to our nodes, add in the first composite. The first composite is going to be an output. Once we've got the output, you obviously need to go and add on your four numerical values. Now, these can, as I said earlier on, can be an electric, that could be battery, that could be fuel, that could be whatever you want. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just input one over here. As you can see here, we've got number, we have input, you can name it what you want. We're gonna leave it blank for right now. We're gonna move on to the actual logic of this microcontroller itself. As you can see here, we have the input and we have the output. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We need to convert this number into an actual composite signal. Now, to do that, you have two options. You can obviously go and use your 32 write, or you can use your regular write. Make sure you go ahead and select number because that's what we're sending through. So we're gonna send that, we're gonna drop it down here. You can see here, once we've taken this, we're gonna then go send it through to the writer. It's gonna then write it to the input, and then we're gonna get it connected. So for example, you can see here, it's currently doing on one channel. So channel one, perfect. Once we've done that, make sure you go ahead and update it and save it like I'm doing right now. You then need to come over to your panel itself, choose whichever dial you want that number value to come to. So I'm gonna choose the first one, for example, and then make sure that I have the channel as one. If we had different ones, we would make sure we go back into the microcontroller, come into here, when we put down our second right, so you can see here, I'm just gonna do another one over here. And let's say we have um, another signal coming through, we'd go ahead and select it and make sure we're doing channel two, for example. And then you can now start adding them on and adding and adding, adding and so on forth. Now, if you don't wanna go ahead and keep on pressing down these different um, composite rights, as I said earlier, you could use the 32, uh, which is just over here, which takes a whole bunch of different ones and then sends it out as one. So that's your different option there. So now that you've got your second value connected, you can go ahead, make sure you go and update this. We need to go back into our panel itself, choose our second dial that we want and actually tell it that it needs to be on a different channel. So for example, we're gonna go and choose channel two. Now, to test this out, just for you guys to obviously show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just connect a throttle lever throw the throttle level down and we're going to make sure that we connect that over to our actual input of our mic controller now last thing you want to do is obviously make sure you have your electric connected otherwise none of this is going to work make sure your composite signals are connected we only sending a signal to this panel so we do not need to have a actual composite signal coming from the panel back into the mic controller for right now obviously i'm just going to go ahead and configure this i'm going to say the max value is 100 perfect and then we can go and actually spawn this in now spawning this in you can see obviously our two top ones are at zero if we go and bring it up you can see these are actually starting to move as we move this these move pretty simple 
pretty easy guys okay now moving on to the second example you can see here all we have is push buttons so we pretty much need to do the opposite of what we've just done for the first controller now if you go and we bring this back into our workbench you can see here I've gone and actually just configured these to be buttons I'm gonna go and tell that this obviously first push button on the left is going to be channel one the second one is going to be channel two the third one down over here is going to be channel three and then the last one is going to be channel four for example now once we've done that we can then come into our microcontroller you can see here once again i have a blank one nothing inside there now as earlier earlier we need to go and add on our actual composite now the reason is we're changing this from output to input is obviously we're sending a button from the panel into the microcontroller and from the microcontroller out so it's now input we've also need to add our different signals on off and we're going to say it's going out and then we can also do another on off and we're going to say it's going out too perfect make sure you got the spacing right great and then go into the logic now you can see here it's pretty much going to be the opposite of what we did earlier as you can see here we have our inputs of a composite signal coming from our panel and we're going to send it out as two outputs now you once again you go and choose we're going to choose a read because we're reading the composite signal here and we're going to take two of those i'm going to say okay one and let's say two are there going to be the channels for this just go ahead and get them connected up just like that and then you can go ahead and send them over to the outputs just like that guys very simple very easy just change obviously the channels every single time once you've done that update it perfect go ahead and connect your logic you can see here i'm just going to connect that my controller right over there and then for this example i'm just going to go and use some light switches so let's grab two light switches here and then we'll see obviously when we use different buttons they'll go off at different times so lastly go and take your electricity connect that up and then let's say we have one output there and two outputs there you can go now and spawn that in and you see if we hold on the first push button the first light comes on and if we hold on the second push button the second light comes on moving on to the third example you can see we have two dials and two buttons this is where it gets a little bit different you just need to do obviously a combination of the first and second example here so coming back into the editor itself now you can see for the third example i have got two dials and two buttons we're going to start off by obviously just configuring what channels they are reading and writing on now i'm going to go and say that the first dial is obviously channel one the second dial is going to be channel two we can then move on to channel three for the first button and then channel four for the second button now we want to move into the mic controller itself but before we do that i'm just going to go and place down some things to obviously to test this out for you you can see we've gone and put a keypad and i'm going to just go and put down two lights at the back so we can obviously test that both of those things are working input and output now going into the mic controller I'm going to go here open it up here we need to add our nodes to start with now because we're doing combination of both we need a composite in and out so we're going you can see here We've got an output there and then we then start adding in our two other nodes so obviously our number twos and then also need our on off twos so we can go here on off input we actually need that to be an output and we need another output for on and off and we can now scroll down and let's do numbers input perfect and let's do a number number input perfect make sure you obviously space this out so nothing overlaps as you can see here we've got one overlapping still so i'm just going to increase the length by one bring the composite up to the top there and now you can see we can bring into our logic i'm going to start by obviously organizing this putting all our inputs on one side our outputs on the other side and then we can start actually planning this out to make sure everything works so you can see here let's start with our input this is obviously going to our two on offs so we need to first do is going to be a read on off grab two of those see we're going to read this one i'm going to read that one we set up obviously our buttons were channel three and channel four so we got that perfect and then we can just go ahead and get it connected up right into our on and off signals over there nice and easy next thing is obviously we need to do our writing for our numbers so we can go and choose our right you can see i'm just going to use two of them here so right right we're going to say this one is going to write to that one that one's going to write to that one and we're going to go and hook it up connect it to each other and it's going to send out into that composite make sure we change numbers obviously channel one for the first one that's fine channel two for the second one great and that's it for the actual setting up of the mic controller we can go ahead and update that move back into here and start doing our logic so you can see here numbers coming into both of those outputs coming into let's grab another light for this example perfect 
coming into there. We also need to do our composite. So you can see from the panel itself coming into the mic controller and then out of the mic controller going into the panel. And then lastly, just make sure we have our electric connected to everything. So make sure we've got that connected. Perfect. We can then spawn it in and test it out. So you can see we obviously have nothing on at the moment. Give the first keypad a one and you'll see that both the dials turn to one. If we turn the first push button, first light goes on. If we do the second one, the second light goes on. So let's go and move on to the last example. So coming back into the workbench, for the last example, you guys can see we have four dials and four buttons. Obviously, they're on two separate panels. This is where it comes into a little bit different. We obviously need to do a combination of the first two, plus we need to add a little bit more nodes on here because these actually don't send nodes from each other. So you can't connect them, for example, you can't connect them through here and into the next node and so on and so forth. This doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Only if you were controlling, for example, a button going into an indicator, then you could do it that way. So to start with, let's go ahead and obviously set up our channels. So we set dials one, two, three, and four. So let's do that. First one, one, second one, two, great. We'll go to the second panel, dial three, and let's do dial four. Perfect, and then same goes with the buttons. Now the buttons, you can use the same numbers if you want to, uh, it's up to you. I'm gonna use separate ones right now. So you can see the first button is gonna be, let's do five. The next button is gonna be six. And then moving on to the sec second panel, we're going to use seven and we're going to use eight. Nice and easy, guys. Okay, now for this, for example, I'm going to go and use two keypads. So let's just go and grab the two keypads here and we're going to use a combination of, let's say, four lights. Perfect, nice and easy. We've got that set up. We don't need to do anything else there. We just need to come into the mic controller. Now, I know I'm probably going to run out of space on this mic controller. So I'm firstly just going to go over to the properties and make the width one wider and one higher. So we go into our, uh, into our nodes, sorry. Let's go and create our nodes. We're obviously going to need a composite in and a composite out like we did before. However, the difference comes in here, guys, is that you will need a second input. So you can see here, let's go and grab another composite input and let's make that in perfect. So we now have two composite inputs and one writing. So that's coming out and you've got two coming in. Unfortunately, as I said, you guys can't link them in between each other. So you have to go ahead and add extra nodes on. And then we can obviously go ahead and start adding on our inputs for different things. So you can see on off going out of the command controller and then our numbers coming in. So we'll grab two of those. So let's grab two numbers, inputs, perfect. And then we'll add another two on offs. How about that? Just to, for the purpose of this example here, and lastly, I'll put, make sure we spread everything out. So put our numbers there and then our on offs just there. Perfect. So we've got a little bit of spare space. We can come into the actual logic here, just separating everything once again, guys. So we've got our two number inputs, our four outputs there. We have our input composite and our output of the composite there. So we can just add that to the top and we have our two inputs. Great. Now, next thing we need to do is obviously go and make sure that we add our writes. So we're going to be writing numbers over here. So let's add those two in there and we're going to be reading our on offs. So we want four of those. Great. So I'm going to say that this is the first panel coming in. This is the second panel. We're going to get that connected up there. Nice and easy. We're going to say our two numbers are coming in. And then from there, they're going out into that panel. Now, we said for the dials, we're at the top. So one and let's do three for the second one. So one and then three. Perfect. Nice and easy. That takes care of the numbers. We then move on to our on off. You can see that we have we did, uh, if I'm correct, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do five here, six here, seven, and eight. I would probably recommend naming these, saying this is the first block and that's the second block. So you can come back into it here. And let's say this is input one block, and the other one is going to input two block. That way we know when we're editing in here, you can see now this is the first block and this is going to be the second block that's coming in. Nice and easy. And then lastly, all you need to do is connect the on and off here, just like so. Nice and simple. We can go ahead once again, update that. Make sure we now start connecting all our connectors. So you can see here, 
this is going to come into the first block actually no sorry into the second block this is going to come into the first block and then it's going to come out into both of those very easy next thing we're going to move on to is our numbers so one number two number and then we have our light switches we can go ahead and connect up here and then lastly just make sure you don't forget to do your electronics easy all that done and you can now spawn this in and test it so you can see as soon as we hit the first one second one third one fourth one and then you also have the numbers so one and this one should be the third one so let's do a five there and you can see five pretty simple guys nice and easy uh, obviously you can get into obviously quite a lot of detail on making this as complex as you want i will bring out an tutorial uh, covering these seven segments but as far as buttons and dials goes this is the basics of what you need to know so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one